So the topic of sharpening, it's a big umbrella that covers a couple of different things. We've got honing, stoning, and stropping. All right, let's talk about why your knives would get dull. Or what is sharp? What does sharp look like? Well, there are different tools that, that provide sharpness or that cut things. You think about the saw blade on a table saw, it's sharp, but it's not good for cutting carrots. The way it cuts is it takes a wide swath out of the board, but that's not how a knife cuts. A knife cuts by parting. It doesn't actually have teeth. It's actually just a parting tool. From my perspective, a sharp knife is one that could actually shave hair easily. And I used to shave the hair off my arm to test my sharpening skills. So when I got done sharpening a knife, I'd shave some hair off the arm. Clearly, I don't have a lot of hair on my arm, so uh, I didn't have a lot of hair to actually use for the test. So I came up with another test. I found that copy paper, just plain old copy paper, whatever you've got in your printer attached to your computer, this is a great consistent test. And it actually gives you really good feedback as to what's going on with your knife edge. Now, if we use something like a, a microscope to really zoom in and look at the knife edge, we can actually see mechanically what's happened with the edge of the knife, what condition the edge of the knife is, and therefore how sharp it is. But you can get a lot of that information just from cutting a piece of paper. So when I think about a, a tough, durable, uh, reliable edge for cutting food, I think smooth, polished edge, something that I could actually shave with. <clears throat> and so a shave is a pull cut. You're going to set the razor down and you're going to either pull it through the hair um, or pull it through the hair. And a hair follicle um, is actually, hair is actually pretty tough. Hair is made out of the same material that your fingernails are made out of. And uh, it's a real tough, durable material. Now consider that we're not sawing through, you're not pulling the razor back and forth and sawing through the hair on your face. You're just pulling the razor and a nice sharp razor will just cleanly pop through those hairs. Now when I say hair is hard or your fingernails is hard, it's about the same hardness as a as annealed copper wire. So if you had copper wire that was the same diameter as a human hair, you could use a raise, razor and actually cut that piece of wire. So it's pretty tough stuff. And um, if, uh, let's see, oh, I got a little bit lost there. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to achieve with the edge of a knife. So when you pull a razor, you just pull it straight down. You're not sliding it back and forth. So to test my knife edge, I don't want to slide cut through the paper. I actually just want to push the knife. You see the knife is not sliding. I'm using the same bit of the edge to cut through the paper. And I call this a push cut. So I'm just pushing the knife down through the paper. So to make it slightly more challenging is to set the edge of the knife on the paper and just have it cut straight through. So that's my test. And one thing I'm feeling for is, will it do the push cut? If the edge is not polished and has good geometry, it won't, it won't go through the paper. It'll just stick. It'll just drag. Um, now this knife, I'm not sure how sharp it is, so we'll just try to do the push cut. So you can see it definitely needs to be sharpened. It's not, it's resisting doing the push cut. So that's my first indicator that I don't have a shavable edge or a razor edge on this knife. So I go to the second part of the test, which is a slide cut. So now I'm using the knife more like a saw. And you can see how it's reluctant to cut the paper. And watch how the paper sort of uh, moves back and forth. You can tell that the edge of the knife is jagged and not smooth and not polished. You can see how the paper's jumping around. And every time the paper jumps, it's encountering a little bit of the edge that is either broken out or is misaligned. And so we want to fix that. So with this simple paper test, I can have a really good 
idea of, of what condition the edge is in. So my favorite, my, the thing that I'm shooting for, my objective, is to have a nice smooth cut. I, I'm just controlling the weight of this knife so it doesn't go out of control. And through the weight of the knife, it is cutting through the paper. That's ideal. That's what I'm looking for. And also that when I roll this paper, as soon as I set the knife down, I want it to bite in. You can see that it begins to bite into the paper immediately. It's not quite as sharp up there. It's definitely not quite as sharp here. You can see when it's a little bit duller, it, it wants to slide. So we have a slight inconsistency with this edge. But just with a piece of copy paper, I can have a really good evaluation of the knife edge without a microscope. So that's the ultimate sharpness that I'm going for is a razor edge, a smooth, polished, continuous edge, and, and which is something that I could shave with. Imagine that this is the edge of your knife. It's very smooth and consistent, and it's, and it's polished, and it's all lined up. So now you go to cut celery, or a carrot, or an apple, or maybe some onion. And I'm moving this knife up and down, and I'm putting a little bit more pressure to get through the food, but also to encounter the cutting board. This is a dried piece of wood, essentially. And my micro-thin edge is now banging into this board. So if this is my knife edge, this edge is banging into the board over and over and over again, over a day, over a week, over six months. And eventually, this nice, straight, polished edge gets out of alignment. It actually deforms a little bit. So keep in mind, this is super thin. It's, it's about the thickness of a human hair. It depends on how you sharpen your knife, but it's quite small. And, um, and over time, it gets out of alignment. Now, this is not going to cut nearly as well as a nice, smooth, polished edge like this. And you can see, if I was trying to drag this, if this was my knife edge, and I was trying to drag it through a piece of paper, how the paper might catch or, or drag with this configuration. And so in this condition, which is going to happen to your knife when you're cutting on a cutting board over time, um, what I want to do is realign this. And the realignment comes through honing. 